Hey everyone, I'm Newbyte. In this video, I will tell you everything you must know about the new clan chat system. And there will be some important information that none of the YouTubers told you about. So first off, introducing the new clan chat system. The new clan chat system reworks the rewards of, of the chests and make these chests lock based uh, because of the because there is three types chests, so we t we can talk about later. Also, you can spend much less silver than before to get the clan weapons parts and modules. The prices of one part of the clan chest infinitely increase every time you open it. So, like for example, if you click on a clan chest, which you'll see right now, you'll be greeted with a new interface which it shows you the bottom bar, which are the rewards, and the three chests together with different colors and numbers. And these colors for the chest represent that blue is rare, and yellow is epic, and red is legendary. Red has the most rewards, and the blue chests have the least amount of rewards. The chance of getting a chest from those are determined by chance. The blue has the highest, bl highest chance, the yellow has slightly less chance than blue, and the red has the least chance to be obtained. About the numbers, if you are trying to open a clan weapon chest, the first number before the dash is the amount of weapon parts. And a number after the dash is a clan gadget parts which means that the chest gives more gadget parts than the weapons. In other chests, the amount of parts you're gonna get is stated below this chest. So let, now let's open a chest. As you can see, we got a reward from the chest and 50 super chest points, which takes 20, ch 20 chest openings to get a super chest. Don't forget that the next chest cost 1000 silver after opening it. The super chest contains currency and weapon skins, but that can be changed soon because um, the new clan system is pretty new. So now to begin with, the most important information you must know about is number one, the clown chest prices infinitely increase. Well, every time you open the chest, the prices increase in an exponential way. So like, the amount of, to show you the picture right now, the amount of openings you do on one chest, as you can see, increases the price exponentially. If you look at the uh, number, if you compare it to like uh, the first opening in the in the 8th opening, it's a lot of difference. There is no limitation to price increasing. So I recommend not rushing in clan chest because of that. I'm warning you guys, because you should not rush your, your silver on these things. In order to save up silver for opening clan chest, because most, most of you guys are looking forward into it, open the clan chest, the same clan chest you're opening, three times per clan war because three openings is the sweet spot for getting parts and saving up silver at the same time as you may know the first opening increases uh, the price into like 4000 which means it's not really the good spot for you so number two do not do not rush in getting clan weapons uh, I know most of you guys are probably too excited to get the clan weapons because they are way too overpowered but, man, don't, you, don't fool yourself with the new clan chest system. As I showed before, the clan chest prices increase rapidly. So the more you open, open, open the, the same chest, the, the more expensive it gets. So like, for example, if you have like uh, 400,000 silver and use them all in one clan war, like you, all, you use it all in the clan weapon chest, you will not, you will not get any of the clan weapons. Uh, Want to know why? Even though, before the update, 
getting gold, golden division weapons takes about 300,000 silver. This is not the case with the new update. If you rush on getting the crown weapons, like say for Crystal Division for example, you will spend about 1 million or 2 million silver to get the weapons instantly in one clan work. So I don't recommend this if you are trying to save up uh, for other divisions, for future divisions. So I highly recommend being patient and open three three chests if you want to save up silver a lot or four chests per clan war if you want to get the weapons faster to save up silver and have the possibility of getting these weapons uh soon so like you will get these weapons in like say four months or three months if you try to be patient so be patient and uh, soon you'll get it soon soon you'll get all of these weapons Number 3, clan chest prices reset every clan war. So this, uh, you guys must know that the clan chest prices do reset. So in this case, uh, since developers made this to make the clan chest uh, system fair, uh, the, prices would the prices would get reset all the way to 500 silver uh, to open the chest uh, after the clan war ends. So in this case, uh, opening three chests or four chests per clan war uh, is is better worth it than just rushing your silver. Number four, amount of chest types you can have in clan war increase the higher the division you are. So like for example, um, in wooden division, you will start with three chests. They consist of a weapon and module and four parts. But if you advance up to steel division, you will have uh, an extra one chest. And that means uh, the, the wooden chest will become only one of them, which is the wooden, which is the weapons and the gadgets. And then you get three, three chests for the steel division. Uh, and, this will and this will repeat for other divisions, other divisions, other divisions. It will increase by one every, every new division. So, so like... Uh, the higher the vision you are, it will actually decrease the amount of price uh, the super chest will cost, which we will talk about later. So, so uh, to keep a note, guys, uh, now uh, in, in Golden Division, we have like five, five chests, five chest types. And in the Crystal Division, uh, which is new, uh, we have like six uh, clan chest types. So uh, to make you an estimation about to, about next division, which is Ruby division, it will you will have seven chest types. Okay. So number five, how much silver does it take to get a silver chest? And uh, most of you guys are probably asking how much it does cost. But um, as you watch the Drops Drops video, uh, he said 10k silver. 10k silver this is this is wrong so uh, let me let me tell you why right now so now uh, as you guys remember in the golden division uh, the silver needed for silver chest before the clan chest update was 45,000 silver which was a bit expensive but now in the new clan chest update uh, as I show in the picture below uh, just just pay attention to the yellow to the yellow color the amount of the amount of uh, price you have, the amount of silver you have to spend in order to get one silver chest is the is thirty five thousand silver, and that and that means the price actually did get uh, reduced for the silver chest. Be aware though, the price that's the price of the first silver chest. The price will not be the same for the second silver chest you're going to get in one clan war. So as you can see in the in the sheet. Look at the look at the gray colored uh gray colored row. As you can see, the price of the of the super chest for the second one is way too high. It's like in the two hundred thousand uh, silvers, and this is a lot. So it's better to like it's better to like spend uh it's better to like spend uh three thirty five thousand silver to get one clan ch one super chest per clan work. Do not get two two silver chests because it's going to cost way too much. It's going to cost way too much. 
So this is because of the fact you know that uh, crown chest prices increase infinitely. So in this case, if you want super chest, get one super chest per clan war by spending 35,000 silver each clan war. And also, since you guys want to know what's the price of Crystal Division uh, Super Chest right now, since Crystal Division just got released, here's the prices for the Super Chest in the Crystal Division. So as you can see, the the gold, this, as you can see, the yellow colored row, the the if you compare the price between the Crystal Division and the Gold Division, now in the Crystal Division, the amount of silver you have to spend to get the Super Chest in crystal division is 26,000 and compared to compared to golden division uh, super chest that's 9,000 silver less that's 9,000 silver uh, reduced from from gold division to crystal division and but if you look at the second if you look at the second super chest if, if you look at the gray colored row uh, if you compare uh, Crystal Division Super Chest for the second one in, to the Gold Division, the price got reduced significantly. So like, it's like it's like if the price got cut in half. It's because you're gonna save up one opening. You're gonna save up one opening to literally get to literally reduce amount of amount of uh, silver you're gonna spend for that Super Chest. So as you can see. So, as you may know right now, the higher the division you are in right now, the lower the prices of the super chest, which you should be proud of. Now, number seven, rewards no longer scale up with the division you are. So, uh, back then, back then, rewards do scale with the higher the division you are, the, the higher the rewards. I did make a video on uh, Chris Division uh, predictions on how much parts it will give soon so look at that video in the description down below uh if you want to watch that video so the now now the rewards no longer scale up i asked some uh, some discord members they say that uh, in golden division they have the same they have the same amount of parts as i have in crystal division so uh rewards do not do not do not scale up anymore so, don't expect modules and weapon parts to get e to become easier the higher the division you are. Don't expect them to be easier. N number eight, the coin and module rewards are nerfed. Uh, most of you guys are probably did not realize what happened to the to this clan chest update. Actually, the coin the coin rewards you're gonna get from the from the clan chest got. A massive, 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 massive nerf. Back then, before this update, you were able to get like, say, like fifty-five thousand coins from just spending one million silver. One million silver into fifty-five thousand coins, and this is actually really, really, really embarrassing. But now, in the new update, you have to, if you're gonna spend one million silver, what are you gonna get? Maybe a few thousand, few thousand coins, and this is not a lot. This is not a lot. So now, um, modules be not upgrading modules now became harder after this update, especially because uh, back then you were able to get uh, four hundred module parts in total from this op from just spending forty five thousand uh, silver. And now in this new update, it's completely log based. It, it's complete luck based so uh, the m amount of money is gonna spend amount of money is gonna get uh, for spending 45,000 silver really depends on your luck you're gonna get probably like uh, at least 100,000 you're gonna get like at least 100 or and uh, the max you can get is like say um it, you, you can get more if you are very lucky but in this case just just to let you know Modules was nerfed. Modules was nerfed. So in this case, now that coins are no longer the best source of in source source of coins for the clan chest, um, the only option you can have right now is converting your silver into coins in the black market. So yeah, pretty sad to, to be honest. 
Number eight or nine. Last but not least, the super chest points reset every clan work. As Draw talks with devs, the points reset after the clan war endings. So, if you are close to getting a super chest and you want it, open some open some clan chest with the lowest uh, silver prices to get the chest. And if you watch Draw, he did say that super chest takes like 10k silver. That's because uh, he thought that the super chest points does not reset after clan war. But now that it does reset, you need at least 35,000 uh, silver to get the silver chest or 26k, uh, 26,000 uh, 26, silver to get a silver chest if you are on Crystal Division. So it's now that uh, developers change these things up. So opening one of each one, one of each chest per clan war will not make you get a silver chest at all. You need at least four openings, which is uh, 35,000 silver in order to get a silver chest in your account work. Here's the bonus information. Since most of you guys wanted to know how much silver does it cost nowadays uh, after the clan chest updates. Well, here's the here's a new clan chest prices uh, for weapons and uh, gadgets. Uh, so feel free to look at them. So as you can see, the first the first column the first column is for the for the amount of openings you do uh for the amount of openings you do on on the the clan weapon chest per clan war. I essentially put a three or in four and five in there because actually I'm pretty sure these these uh these spots are pretty pretty sweet for for people who really want to get the weapons so badly. So yeah, and as you can see the the second column is where is how many chests you're going to open because because of that and uh, in the third in the third column it, that's where it says how much you're going to spend to get all the weapons if, if for that for that case of for that uh, scenario and and the fourth column and the last one is how many days it will take for you to to uh, to get these weapons and as you may know, each clan war it consists of seven days. Uh, so, so yeah. So feel free to look at this information and thank me later. Also another bonus is that recently I just asked a developer uh, what are, about what are the chances of the rare chest and epic chest and the legendary chest but now he told me that the rare chest chance is 60% and epic, reg, epic chest chance is 25% and legendary chest chance is 15% so in this case I made another I made another sheet so in this case just uh, look at this Look at this if you want to, and thank me later. So that's all for the video guys and if this video helped you guys like this video and subscribe to my channel to see more content from me. I'll see you guys in the next video and peace out.